Welcome back to JK Fitness and Nutrition and welcome to today's workout. Full body dumbbell and body weight high intensity circuit training workout that focus on our legs. So we're going to do exercises that involve both body weight and dumbbells targeting our full body, but you'll notice more of an emphasis and exercises targeted towards our legs. So we're going to hit the glutes, hamstrings, quadriceps, calves. We're going to throw in some upper body and of course some core. All right, so here's a breakdown of today's workout. First part is three circuits, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, going through each circuit three times. Within those circuits, the first part is primarily weighted. You'll very, I don't think I have any dumbbell, uh, sorry, body weight movement. So everything is with a dumbbell or kettlebell. I will show you the modification if you don't have a kettlebell. Um, part two is body weight only, legs, a little bit of upper body. 15 seconds on, five seconds rest, one time through. So we're gonna hit the legs really hard in that first part with some weights. And then the second part, I like to call it one last blast. We're just gonna go with like a speed round of body weight only um, exercises. All right, so a couple of movements here I have for the kettlebells. Um, we're going to be doing alternating cleans. So sometimes I say just swap out the dumbbells, uh, the kettlebells for dumbbells. If you don't want to do cleans, another movement you can do is just alternating overhead press if you have dumbbells, all right? So you can do either the cleans or the overhead press if you don't have kettlebells. And then we have a clean and squat. So we're gonna come down a squat position. We're gonna clean the kettlebells towards our shoulders, press up, all right, coming back down. All you have to do is just Put your dumbbells midline in between your, in between your legs, clean to your shoulders and step up. That's really easy to modify and to uh, swap out one for the other. All right, and I think that's about it. So let's get ready. Make sure you're stretched. You have a variation of dumbbells available and kettlebells if you have it. And let's get ready to work. All right, so first circuit, we're gonna do a weighted squat to squat pulse. All right, so grab a dumbbell. You're gonna put it stacked on the back. You're gonna come down squat position, come all the way up for one, jump squat for two, all right? So you have two movements within that 20 seconds. All right, let's make it a good one. First circuit, squat to squat pulse, weighted, stack it on your back, push those knees out, one, give me that jump up. All right, here we go. All right, come all the way down, extending, squeezing your glutes. Give me that jump up for one. That's it. Excellent. So two movements, two squats, jump, coming up. All right, less than 10. We're gonna do some curtsies to weighted frog. Five more seconds. That's it. Three more. Two, one. I want a dumbbell midline. I want a curtsy, grab, weighted frog, curtsy, weighted frog. All right, here we go. If you want to use your kettlebell for this exercise, you can swap it out. Absolutely no problem. All right, next coming up, we have a compound movement, weighted. We're gonna do some man makers. All right, three more seconds. Two, one. So man makers, you're going to come to the ground. Give me a push up. Drive it back for one, two. Stand up, overhead press. Let's go. Give me a push-up only if you can, with that proper form, arms are tucked into your sides. That's it, coming up, extending all the way. You're going to do some isolation work, one leg at a time for 20 seconds. Here we go, all the way, that's it. One dumbbell in your hand. I want you coming down lunge position. Give me that knee drive up. I'm doing a little pop up, all right, not much. Give me a lunge. Pop it up. All right. Gonna hit up the other side. 20 seconds per side. That's it. Coming up on your foot. Make sure your foot, drill it into the ground. Front foot is flat. Chest is up. Core is tight. All right. Three more seconds. Two. One. Let's hit up the other side. Same thing. Back to the top for round two of circuit one. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Lunge. And up, that's it. I like to do a uh, single leg isolation movements. So I make sure I'm strengthening both of my legs evenly. 
It's very common to have one that is stronger than the other. All right, three more seconds, two more, up. All right, let's go. Weighted squat to squat pulse, please. All right, five seconds, pushing those knees out. That full squat, before we do that jump squat. One, two, and up again, that's it. Excellent. Make sure we're pushing those knees out every time we come into squat position. As you see, my toes are slightly pointed out. It's a natural thing for me to do as my, so I can allow myself to come down nice and low. Awesome. Curtsy, weighted frog. I'm gonna use a kettlebell to demo that one if you have a kettlebell. All right, so curtsy, weighted frog. Let's go. Tuck it in. Pushing those knees out as well, right? And that frog jump, knees follow in line with your toes. Touching, coming across. Awesome. Man makers, coming up. Downtown movement, give our legs a little break. Three, two, one. I'm gonna bump it up a bit in weight. Man makers. Then we'll do our isolation work with our, our reverse lunges. Here we go, push up if we can. If not, uh, drop to your knees and do one, or just go down to that plank position without even giving me a push up. Like just stay here and set up the push up and just give me one row, two rows. All right, drive those knees, those feet under you. Three more seconds, two, one. All right, here we go. One leg at a time, reverse lunge. All right, keeping your chest up, legs are shoulder width apart. Throw that front foot into the ground. Drive that knee back down and up. Excellent. Here we go. Chest is up. Core is tight. Less than 10. Hit up the other side. Last round. We move on to circuit two. Before, in between each circuit though, we're gonna do some glute and sit-ups. <laughs> glute work and sit-ups. <laughs> All right, five more seconds. Other side. Here we go. Three, two, legs shoulders apart. Chest is up. Keeping your core nice and tight. Excellent, and up. All right, you probably noticed I've started to incorporate a bit more dumbbell, dumbbell work with, uh, within my workouts. Oh, I just felt like doing it. <laughs> Five more seconds, challenging my body every time, right? Three, two, one. Last time from the top. I'll stick with this weight over your shoulder. You know what, I'm gonna bump it up. Challenge myself, last round. Here we go. Let's go. I always say you're not stuck with the weight you started with, right? So I need to follow my own advice. Give me that squat all the way up, squeezing. Give me that jump. Excellent. All right, five more seconds. Curtsy, weighted frog. That's it, two. Awesome, I'm gonna use a dumbbell for this one. Curtsy, tuck it in, weighted frog jump, toes out on that nice and wide stance, all right? Here we go. One, grabbing that dumbbell, give me that jump up, tuck it in. These torch my legs <laughs> right from the get-go. <laughs> like, oh boy, three rounds of this, here we go. Staying nice and low, excellent, five more seconds. Man makers, last time. Three, two, awesome, man makers. Here we go, legs are shoulder width apart for this entire movement. Here we go, keep your core nice and tight. Bring that chest to the, your upper chest to the ground for your push-ups. Drive your elbow back, one, two. Coming in, arms stay tucked in by your sides. Let's go, coming all the way down again. We're gonna finish isolation work. Our weighted reverse lunges. That's it, three more seconds, two, one. All right, one side at a time. You meet me on the ground, we'll do some full sit-ups and a glute bridge. All right, here we go. Lunge, drive it up. That's it, excellent. All right, two more circuits in the same format before 15 seconds of uh, relaxed body weight, legs, a little bit of upper body as well. Here we go, three more seconds, two. Awesome, switch it up. Last time, other side. And meet me on the ground with a single dumbbell, please. All right, three, two, one. Nice to shoulder width apart. Here we go. All right, for our weighted full sit-ups, we're gonna do a weighted full sit-up, and then we're gonna do a glute bridge. All right, so grab a dumbbell, 
that you can do a uh, full sit up with. All right, five more seconds. Excellent, three more, two, break to that beat every time. All right, let's go. So dumbbell over your head. You're gonna come up. As you come up from your full sit up over your head, glute bridge. All right, tuck it in, glute bridge. All right, circuit two, round one. We are going to do a weighted step up to overhead press. All right, so I want a dumbbell in each hand, one that you can keep up, extend it at shoulder height, and then you're going to give me an overhead press. All right, step up, so weights up here, coming up, one, two, here we go, press it up. All right, let's go. Make sure you're alternating the hand, or sorry, the leg that you're stepping down with and stepping up with. All right, we have that clean and squat coming up that I demoed. Um, you can use your kettlebells for that or your dumbbells. I'll show the first one with dumbbells, please. All right, clean and squat. So you're gonna come down that squat position, little swing to your shoulders, squeezing up. All right, coming down. So stay down in the squat position and then come up, all right? Don't rush that movement. Here we go, pushing your knees out and up. I have a very wide stance. All right, and up, excellent. Five more seconds, push those knees out. All right, half burpee snatch, compound movement. Dumbbell here, one, two, drive it up. Same thing, other side, here we go. All right, give the legs a little break. Here we go, one, two, landing wide. Plant your feet into the ground, drill your feet, use your legs to power up. Here we go, one, two, and up. Excellent, really extending over your head, getting your core nice and tight. All right, here we go. Lunge and clean from the ground, kettlebell. If not, just swap it with a dumbbell. Lunge, press up. All right, here we go. Lunge and press up. 20 seconds per side, please. Same thing, use your dumbbell. You don't have your kettlebell. All right, excellent, five more seconds. Quick break, other side. So in this first part, every last two exercises will be isolation work, one leg at a time, all right? Lunge, I'll demo with the dumbbell. Here we go, clean to that shoulder, extend up. Back down, reaching, cleaning, and up, that's it. Pushing through, all right, push through, extend up, excellent. Don't come up until you're set, core is tight, chest is up. Back to the start, and we hear that beep. Round two, step ups. All right, step ups, overhead press. Here we go, breathing so heavy already. My face is drenched, by the way. Here we go, one, two, drill your feet, bam, press it up, again. One, two, all right, alternate the foot you're coming down with. I think I did two on the same one by mistake. That's what reminded me to say that. All right, here you go, drill your feet, bam, and up. Three more seconds, two. All right, clean and squat, I'll, dumb, I'll demo with my kettlebells now. Toes out, nice and wide. Here we go, clean to your shoulders in that squat position. Extend up, squeezing as you come up. All right, that's it, staying low. Bam, and up. Pushing your knees out. You feel good. <laughs> All right, less than 10. Half burpee to snatch, please. And up. Make sure we're staying nice and low, please. Nice and low. All right, excellent. Half burpee snatch, followed by our lunging cleans. Sorry if I didn't give you much notice last round that we had those coming up. Here we go. One, two, drive it up. Extending over your head. In and out, one, two, lean up with that elbow, getting your, your uh, chest up high, right, really engage your core. All right, lunge and cleans. Let's go, five more seconds. Excellent, bam, up. Great job, lunge and cleans. I'll do one and one, one with the dumbbell, one with the kettlebell. All right, 20 seconds for a side. You wanna clean to that shoulder, drive it up. All right, palm is facing in. As you clean, drive it up. So my back knee is resting on the ground, all right? 
Chest up, core is tight. Excellent. All right, right to that beat. We'll switch sides. Five more seconds. One more round. Then last circuit to hit up. Last circuit at this interval, time interval coming up after this last round. All right, here we go. Same thing, hips are square. Reaching in, palms facing you. Drive it up and back. That's it, getting set. Chest up, core tight. Push through this front foot on the ground. All right, your front leg, bam, and up. All right, back to the top. Weighted step ups. Last time, when you hear that beat, three, two, one. Awesome weighted step ups. Here we go. I'm so sweaty, it's like falling all over my dumbbells and everything. All right, here we go. Coming all the way down, one, two, drill your feet, bam, that's it, again, one, two, alternating the foot that you're coming down with. Just a reminder to you guys and to myself as well. One, two, up again, three more seconds, two, one, awesome, half burpee, squat, sorry, half burpee, yes, no, clean and squats, my bad, <laughs> clean and squats, Let's go. I am sure those of you that have been working out with me for a while are used to this. <laughs> so just go with the flow. This is my first time going through this workout as well. So it's uh, bound to happen. All right, push those knees out. That's it. Three more seconds. Two, one. Awesome. Now half burpee snatch. All right, let's go. Yeah, and then uh, two rounds, lunge and cleans followed by our full sit-ups with that bridge on the ground. Here you go, one, two, leading up, bam, that's it. One, two, great job, less than 10. Let's go, let's get those reps in, let's keep that intensity high. One, two, bam, drill your feet into the ground. Awesome, here we go. Last time, lunging cleans. One leg at a time, legs are shoulder width apart, hips are square, please. Let's go, palms are facing in, clean to your shoulder. That's it, press up. All the way, pressing up. Keeping your chest up, core is nice and tight. Excellent. All right, less than 10. Last time, other side. On the ground for some core and glute bridge. And last circuit coming up. All right, let's go. Here we go, just switch legs, stay here. Why not, reaching in, palm facing in. I'll use my dumbbell this time. All right, here we go. Clean to that shoulder, pressing it up and back. Cleaning and up. All right, glute bridge on the ground, full sit up to glute bridge. Circuit three, we're gonna start with a weighted reverse jump squat to a dumbbell swing, or if you wanna use your kettlebell, use your kettlebell. All right, on the ground, please. Here we go. Over your head, tucking it in. Over your head, glute bridge, please. Let's go up. Drill your heels into the ground and up. Make sure your core is nice and tight. Bam. All right, let's go. So a single dumbbell or a kettlebell. All right, for this next exercise. Let's go, here we go. All the way let's, in midline. So place your hands down, drag it towards you, swinging. Back down, jump back, all right. Place it down, hands down, jump back. Gorilla swing forward, or kettlebell swing forward, sorry. Reaching, bam, squeezing your glutes, right? Reverse curtsy lunges, weighted. That's all we're doing. Here we go. Excellent, dumbbell in each hand. So like a curtsy, but you can come out in that lunge, bringing that knee to the ground. Knee to the ground. All right, let's go. Nothing fancy about it. This is all we're doing. Keeping your chest up, core is tight. All right, less than 10 right here. We do alternating cleans. Like I said, you have the option doing alternating cleans with your dumbbells or alternating overhead press. All right, I'm gonna do my kettlebells, alternating cleans or if you want, alternating overhead press with the dumbbells. All right, here we go. Cleans, dip, use your legs, right? Use your legs, power up. All right, excellent, keeping your chest up. Core is nice and tight. 
All right, we have a deadlift to a lunge. Single leg. Remember, at last two exercises are always single leg. Three, two, one. Grab a dumbbell. All right, you're gonna come down into that lunge um, deadlift position into a lunge. All right, coming forward into a lunge. Let's go, single leg, tapping, bam, and up. Hinging forward, as the core is tight, keep that back nice and flat. This knee should have a slight bend in it. All right, excellent. Five more seconds, great job. Three, two, all right, excellent. Next round, I think I might go a bit heavier. Always start with your weaker side, right? So you can gauge how heavy you can go. All right, same thing, other side. Let's go one, back into that lunge position. Here we go, single leg deadlift, chest up, drive that back knee to the ground. All right, from the top, round two, reverse jump squat, the kettlebell swing, or a dumbbell swing if you're using a dumbbell. Three, two, one. I will use a kettlebell this time. All right, so we're taking that, that jump back, hands down, squeezing, bam, all right? Here we go, hands down, jump back, drag it towards you, squeezing those glutes. Put it out in front of you, that's it, bam. All right, I want you reaching, staying nice and low, that's it, hinge, less than 10. We have weighted reverse curtsy lunges coming up. Three more seconds, two, that's it, let's go grab some dumbbells. Weighted reverse curtsy lunges, here we go. All right, coming down that lunge position, keeping your chest up, core tight. All right, following this, alternating cleans. And then we have isolation work. One more round before a speed round. Chest up, core is tight. Drive that back knee to the ground, coming in that angle. That's it, three more seconds. Two, one, awesome. I'm gonna demo now. I'll do alternating overhead press for those that have chosen to do that with your dumbbells. All right, here we go. All right, deadlift to lunge coming up. And then back to the start, round three. Then body weight for the remainder. All right, dr going, drilling, drill your feet into the ground, chest up, core is tight. Slight bend in your knees. Three more seconds. Weight to that beep. Two, one, here we go. And you go a bit heavier, like I said last time. All right, single leg. Hinging forward, legs are shoulder width apart. Here we go. All right, hinging forward, coming up. Bam. All right, so I always start, like I say, with my weaker side. This one has had a few injuries, so I uh, have to work a lot on it. All right, let's go. Here we go. Try and keep your hips as square as you can. Try not to rotate too much on your hip with your hips. Three, two, one. Excellent. Other side. Last round coming up. Psych yourselves up for our body weight. All right, here we go. All right, hinging forward, up and back. That's it, excellent. Keeping your back flat, slight bend in that knee. Make sure your knee doesn't fall in. Always be aware. So one thing I always look at when somebody is doing a squat is the position of their knees. All right, five more seconds. That's it, three more. Great to that beep, awesome, let's go. Reverse, jump squat. Do dumbbell swing, I'll use my dumbbell or kettlebell swing. So place your hands down, take that jump back in that squat position, give me that swing forward, reaching out ahead in front of you again, like nice reach ahead, all right? That's it, nice reach ahead. Drag it towards you, squeezing your glutes. All right, way to reverse curtsy lunges coming up. Three more seconds, two. All right, let's do it. Way to reverse curtsy lunges. Last few of this 20 second interval. Let's go, coming across for one, two, on that angle, dipping down, bring that knee to the ground, front foot is flat. All right, alternating cleans, throwing a little bit of upper body. Here we go, drive that back knee to the ground. Excellent, three more seconds, here we go. Two, right to that beep. Awesome, alternating cleans, I'll grab my kettlebells this time. Here we go. All right, five seconds, three, two, dip and clean, use your legs, bam, power up, use your legs, that's it, excellent. So anytime that I incorporate kettlebells, 
I'll try and be mindful and show the modification for um, the dumbbells if you don't have kettlebells. All right, three more seconds. Chest up, core tight, two, one. Let's go, one at a time. Let's go. Single leg deadlift. We'll do some core, our full setup with our bridge on the ground. Then we're ready to go. All right, it's only 13 exercises. 15 seconds on, five seconds rest. That's it. But I want us cranking up that dial of intensity and going all out, all right? I know our legs are fatigued, but that's the point, right? One last push while we're fatigued, all right? Where all the magic happens. Five more seconds, other side, meet me on the ground. Last time for our core bridge. Core with our glute bridge. That's it, chest up, core tight. Legs are shoulder width apart. That's it, bam, excellent. Hinging forward, really keep your core tight, right? For our balance, back is flat. That's it, five more seconds, here we go. That's it, two, one on the ground, over your head, tucking it in, and then give me that glute bridge up. All right, here we go. Last 20, and then quick little break for you all as I reset the timer. That's your break. <laughs> you won't need any dumbbells, any kettlebells, no equipment. 13 exercises to go through with as much intensity and pace that we can. All right, we're gonna empty our tank. We're gonna empty our tank right here. All right, here we go. First one, what do we got? We got jump squats. Jump squats for 15. Let's make it count. Here we go, three, two. Jump squats for 15. Nice and light on our feet, pushing our knees out. All right. Less than 10, we're gonna do some body weight curtsies. Great job, keep going. Get down nice and low. Three more seconds, two, one. That's it, tucking in and across. Curtsies, body weight, let's go. So you'll notice how fast the 15 seconds goes and you'll notice how fast the five seconds goes. So it's a win-lose situation. Three more seconds, two, one. Frog jumps, I'm just joking, it's a win-win, right? Frog jump, please. A win, because it's a great workout. And a win, because we're torching our legs. And a win, because we've challenged ourselves. It's so rewarding. All right, three more seconds. And then do some body drop, some upper body, body drop. One, two, let's go. All right, here we go, push up for one, two, all the way back down, little break for our legs. One, two, down again. Jump lunges, we'll hear that beep. Keeping your core tight, don't drop that head. No bums in the air. All right, jump lunges, here we go. All right, followed by step ups, lateral jump squats. Then we'll throw in some more upper body, do some shoulder tops. All right, nice and light on our feet, driving that back into the ground, that's it. Three more seconds, step ups coming up. Here we go, body weight step ups. I want you jumping up. Bam, right there, let's go. One, two, and up. All right, lateral jump squats to follow. That's it, one, two, chest is up. Core is tight, right? Keeping our core nice and tight. Bam, bound up, press through that foot. Excellent. Lateral jump squats, so step up. Side to side. Here we go, side to side. Shoulder tops coming up on the ground. Plank position. Let's work our upper body, give our legs 15 second break. Three, two more, one. Awesome, shoulder tops, plank position. Here we go. All right, so no bums in the air, please. Don't drop that head. I always say stare at a spot just ahead of me. Pressing through the palms of your hands. Here we go, side lunges. Back at our legs, and you hear that beep. All right, let's go, side to side, please. One, two, pushing off. We have reverse jump squats, reverse curtsy lunges, plank up and downs, and then we're gonna finish with some core on the ground in our glute bridge. Three, two, one. Reverse jump squats, hands down, sitting down. Catching that ball, pushing those knees out. 
just like we do with that movement. We do that gorilla swing or that kettlebell swing. No move, no uh, dumbbell here though, but sit back. Push your knees up and sit up. That's it. Reverse curtsy lunges, coming across. All right, here we go. I did forget after plank up and downs. We have lateral jump lunges. And then we have our core and glutes on the, on the ground. On the bridge, our core and glute ridge on the ground. Two, one, here we go, plank up and down, upper body, up, drilling through the palms of your hands, and up, one more leg, body weight, to finish this, get on the ground, please, here we go, pressing through your palms, legs are shoulder width apart, bam, don't drop that head, all right, lateral position, lunge, jumping side to side, all right, switching, let's go, nice and low, switching, all right, on the ground, please. We're just going to do some full sit-ups. Just full sit-ups for 15 seconds. All right, coming across, three more seconds. Two, on the ground, let's go. Full sit-ups. I've said before, I like to touch behind my head. We're going to do one leg at a time for our glute bridge, and we'll call it a day. That's all we're doing. One side at a time for 15 seconds. All right, let's go. One leg up, squeezing your glutes, core is tight, right? You should feel it in the, your leg that is on the ground, that hamstring, glute tie-in, that's where you should feel it. Nice controlled movements, don't drop your bum, hips are up. All right, last 15, stay up if you can. Let's go, flex this foot that's coming up and down. Your hamstring and glute tie-in, like right about here. All right, squeezing, that's it. Drill through the foot on the ground. That's a nice controlled movement. Excellent. Oh, what a great workout. I love that. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks for joining. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day.